What up, guys? Welcome to the podcast. Your boy, a man, me, the sauce <laughs> boss. I'm here with Lynch, big Lynch holding it down, and D. What up? Cerberus Arms. What's up, guys? Um, Cerberus Arms. That's a weird name, right? Is that how people know you? Like Cerberus it Arms? It is. It's weird. Yeah. It's like a I name played... I made up a long time ago, and it's yeah. the most confusing, hardest name to pronounce. So it's a really good business <laughs> but, early on. Yeah. Lynch, I've, I've played games with D. Yeah. Like we've gone into a games online in chivalry mm-hmm. and people are <laughs> like, oh, damn, it's D. But it says Cerberus Arms, but they know it's him. They see like the gamer tag and they're like, yo, what up, D? And then there's like, just like little knights following him <laughs> around. He's it serious, is- Lynch. You know, he comes in the clutch sometimes. We play Modern Warfare. I get smoked. And then he'll clean out like twelve guys for. Their, are you are you the worst in your guy. whole crew when you when you get online with with your boys here? Uh, Harley, I, no, Harley's not no, the not worst. the worst. I'm mid. I am definitely mid. Sometimes I'll have a but, big play, and sometimes major fuck up. But you're not carrying. You're not carrying. Yeah, uh, like you're not carrying the team. Depends on how many edibles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how many hundred milligrams? I get, I get some big carries. Warzone's but, really hard when you're high. I, yeah. I can't play high anymore at all. And that's my secret. I'm always high. <laughs> <laughs> but what's interesting about D coming on Lynch is just like you, I would say you two are probably the top snobbiest eaters that I know. Hmm. Uh, you're like both like the the most and i'm not even playing it up d i bet to beg d to take me to a denny's <laughs> at 5 a.m he's once. always making the worst calls I love always this up the worst because calls. It, it was the worst call but he's not like if he was my cousin he would have say, said what you said been like you fucking stupid but there's no way in a million years but he was being very polite and i kept begging him and i was fucked up on his couch so he was like uh, fine there, i wasn't letting him <laughs> like i literally twisted yeah. his arm you really wanted to go and i was like and how, how were the zesty it? nachos? Let me guess. Zesty nachos. Oh, oh boy. My God, <laughs> I'm willing to get yeah. the zesty nachos. Yeah. Harley's like, we're on the couch. He's like, dude, the zesty nachos are insane. You're going to love them. They're great. We get there. It takes like an hour for us <laughs> yeah. to get our zesty nachos, yeah. first of all. There's like two people in yeah. the restaurant. Those were not zesty nachos. <laughs> it was They're literally just like, like chips that. with some cheese on them. It like they Someone made it up in the Ooh. back. Like it's they, not normally like that. Those are the worst zesty nachos ever. Ever. It, it was like white with like 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 chips with like a white squirt of cheese on it. Yeah. Well, the last time cheese? you took me to Denny's, someone was rubbing deodorant on their lips like there was chapstick. And I was like, okay, this is Tell them what happened, D. Tell them what happened this time at this Denny's. Okay, so the whole so the whole thing is this Denny's <laughs> is in a really bad part of town. It's right across the street from the subway station. So you get a lot of a lot of fucked up people going in there. in Los Angeles uh, and okay yeah in Los Angeles it's out like and right about there. and around it like yeah not even, yeah I have the citizen app uh which basically tells me like when shit's going down uh and I'm always seeing people getting like shot in that day <laughs> I see people getting robbed and beat up uh I saw a the woman got shot in the chest there a, a man with a machete was in a wheelchair Apparently, it's swinging at people and, and like by right the way, outside of it. Sorry to interrupt real quick. Just yeah. so you know, I, I knew about the Citizen app, and he was politely telling me about like the man in the wheelchair with the machete. And I was using this in conversation. I was I was like, D, we could handle him. <laughs> You're like, I'm a boxer. But that's no fine, problem. dude. Yeah. You he was like, he was dump, like, it's fine. We'll be okay. And I'm like, so that's... Dump him out the chair. Like, just dump him out. And he's on the ground. Like, that's it. Take the machete. It's anyway, true. Yeah, that's it's true. Like, sorry, continue. I, I was just like, I, I've... I was like, no. Ever, ever since I saw that woman get shot in the chest and the man with a wheelchair uh, and the machete, I was like, I'm never going there. Not like I go to Denny's anyways. But I was like, all right, fuck it, fine, let's go. We'll we'll go. Like, we'll I'll sh- we'll see how it is. Like, I haven't been. We really, know how it is. Uh, I've only been via Citizen app. Uh, we go. Worst nachos ever. Takes an hour to get there. They're fucking cold when they get there. They're cold with cold cheese and the chips are like old. I don't understand how you. They were bad. They're normally better, uh, but like not even if they were on their best day. I don't think it's enough for you though. But they're like they're like wooden chips. They're kind of chips that are halfway between uh, being fresh. Yeah, it it was the worst. It was the worst. And then we're like sitting there waiting for our check. Check takes like half an hour to arrive. There's two people in the restaurant. Uh, and right outside the window, there's like a big <laughs> glass window, probably like 10 feet away from us, 10, 15 feet away from us. Uh, there's a transient man uh, with his pants down at his knees and he's jerking his ding dong off in the window. <laughs> and he's literally just like, but it's like, it's not hard. He's just like, 
Yeah. He's like, he was like, he was like he's just smearing like, it up on the glass. Yeah, like, he's like trying to, he's like trying to do something with it. He's like choking it and like freaking like going like this and like the top. <laughs> he's smacking the top. He's freaking choking it. Uh, we don't know what he's doing. He's like scratching his D, butt. D's looking at me, so his angle is looking at me, and I'm like, damn, where's the check? And behind, right next to my head, is a dick just getting <laughs> on the glass. <laughs> and D's furious. He's like, what the fuck? So he stands up and he seeks out the person. He like he's like we gotta get the fuck out of here. Like, yeah, guys, rubbing Checklist, his dick. Yeah. We left. I was like, dude, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Thank you for that. You were right. It no, not- it it was. Um, <laughs> I've never felt so bad about being so right before. <laughs> it was uh, it was rough, yeah, but yeah. I felt vindicated. Um, I mean, and Brynn was there. My girlfriend was there. So oh, you brought there, your like, girlfriend to this establishment as yeah, well. Yeah, so oh, she's wow. sitting there. And this she dude's kinda like Denny's. She's she likes she Denny's, likes Denny's, and she, she was all for going. She gets she gets she's <laughs> not she's probably closer to me when it comes to to food and stuff or whatever. Where mm-hmm. D might be closer to you. Uh, she's vegan though, right? Yeah, yeah, she's vegan. Yeah, yeah, but she still uh, hits up Doomies though. So it's well, true. it's because like <laughs> even in LA, it's like pretty easy to be vegan. But if you're vegan, you got to be chill. Like you can't be like mm, I'm not gonna like you got to be like I guess I'm Star, okay with eating like French that, fries for three days. Like, if you're vegan, yeah, exactly. If you're yeah. vegan and you're you're not really about it, you know. Uh, I got a question though, food related. Yeah. What's your favorite fast food restaurant? Taco Bell. Taco Bell. I was going to guess wow. it. I swear I wow. could have guessed it. Taco Bell. <laughs> because, and you know why, Lynch? Because one time it was late night and D was like, do you want Taco Bell? And I thought he was asking me like, oh, little fucking stupid fool. Like, will this make you happy? So I was like, oh, <laughs> you thought it was like a dick. Yeah, no, I, no, I thought you were like being nice to me, being like this idiot. Let's okay, yeah, disgusting yeah. Taco Bell. Cause you don't really get down like and i remember you were like you want taco bell and i was like oh i mean we don't have to get that like if you want you're like i would do taco bell I'm like do you like taco bell and you were like i fucking love taco bell and yeah. i remember logging that in my brain i was like Ooh. i was like fucking loves taco bell i'm like so funny taco bell in the us not in canada but in the us it's actually great and what's cool about it i assume you get to taco bell maybe because is it at all because it's vegan friendly. Oh, there's so many vegan options. You get everything yeah, yeah. black bean there, and that's a sick move. I don't know why. Black bean country wrap? Come on. McDonald's should have just black bean burger options for everything or some variant. Or when impossible we, something. When like, are we going to get there where it's just like you get that option? It's just it's going to 3D print it anyway. So you yeah, yeah. Eventually, whatever, just that know? space meat. I mean, know? they're already doing yeah. it now. Right I'm, now. They're, I'm down. Like, actually, I actually stopped eating meat entirely oh. um i just eat fish now so taco bell is like the only fast food restaurant i can go to why'd you do that um you're better than me <laughs> you're, he's a pescatarian now yeah uh i'm pest yeah. dog uh no the main the actual real reason i quit eating meat was um like i mean my girlfriend's vegan so but like for years I, you know i would eat steaks and shit in front of her uh but i saw a video on instagram Maybe I can show you. I'll get you. Oh, uh, here we go. So TikTok did him dirty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw a he video. He sat there in front of his girlfriend. But it didn't wear off. For like, I've seen, like, I don't give a I've fuck. I've seen videos, too, where I'm like, temporarily, I'm like, oh, fuck this. Like, I can't. I got to. I gotta relax, and then you smell a steak. Yeah, then a couple go, days pass. That's not yeah, a couple go. days pass, and, <laughs> and next thing you know, I'm, I'm eating a Five Guys burger or something. Oh, I found it. Here we go. Uh, so I basically it's a video of a cow playing fetch. Oh, and no. uh after i saw oh, that i was no. like because i play fetch with felix all the time who's our dog um I fucking love felix but i love beef felix. him every time i drive him crazy i yeah, thought you were gonna go another bad. direction with the video him. i thought we were getting something a little more like graphic and uh no no i don't uh, need i don't want either i don't want to see it like, but oh, shit. the internet yeah, will get yeah. you sometimes no. so like here you want this and it's like no actually i don't oh. want this at all yeah, so like, I watched this, this stuff like, does hurt like deep hurt my heart. Right. You're like, this, if, this animal is so smart and it just wants to have fun and it like loves the person who's playing with them. And it's like I, when I saw that, I was like, I can't eat that animal because that's like eating my dog. I, I just think about like some weird circumstance of events where somehow AI solves problems instead of destroying us and we survive for a thousand years. And because of AI certain changes in in chemistry we jump forward a evolutionary we jump forward a, a a massive amount of generations and all of a sudden cows are smart and talking yeah the pigs are smart and talking and just Can you imagine awkward the it is for that shit? to occupy exactly to occupy the fuck? space with them 
And to know that like when they talk about slaughterhouses and what we do there, or we they see chicken nugget goo it's like pa- a paste. It is crazy. And you're on their hit list. Humans are fucked up. Top top ten. Yeah, you're yeah, top ten you're most top. wanted at least. Dude, humans are I think I think aliens may have even saw Earth and we're always like there it's t- uh numerically impossible that we haven't made contact with other aliens. I feel like aliens made contact with us, saw what was going on here, and and kind of put us in a solitary confinement in the universe. And we don't yeah. know. We're like shadow banned to the rest of the universe because humans are so fucked. Like yeah. if aliens ever came here, we're half the people are, are would be like, we're gonna fucking kill you, and the other half would be like, we're gonna fuck you. Crazy, and then like once we figure it out, we're like, we're gonna fucking, we're gonna fuck them, we're gonna kill them, we're gonna eat them. We we'll fucking eat. Like God forbid the aliens yeah, yeah. come here and taste good. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh, it's it's on. Mm, so crazy. Do you are you don't really strike me as a Star Trek guy. I love Star Trek. You're a Star Trek guy? Yeah, but only Next Generation. Same. Yeah, same, same. Okay. I, oh, yeah. I never liked Star Trek until I watched Next Generation later in life. So I, I believe in the whole Star Trek situation where uh, we're obviously on the radar for other, you know, intergalactic beings, you know, super intelligent mm-hmm. beings. But the rule is that you're not allowed to contact them or you're not allowed to interfere in any, like, significant way until they reach light speed travel you know about this lynch i'm not i, I admittedly not a person who you know he's, he's talking about the prime directive that's the, the prime directive, directive. Yeah, okay. big, yeah it's actually it was the thing that i heard about star trek someone explained the prime directive to me and for some reason that compelled me to want to watch star star trek it's really the, good the prime directive is that they can't you can never interfere with another society if they haven't reached a level of technology which that that was quantified by the basically reaching light okay. speed if you or warp drives yeah. or whatever. Yeah, sorry, continue. Yeah, because it's like the idea that uh, before then um, the society will be so enraptured with greed and capitalism and like killing each other in war that it is uh, it's not it's like unstable and you're going to like potentially like destroy you'll, you'll, their you'll, entire you'll destroy your own world. world. You'll yeah, destroy you everything. Do. Yeah. So you have to wait till they you know you know get the get to the point where they can reach light speed which means that they have to like what that means for a society is like you basically have to be able to create a replicator which would then eliminate the need for materialistic greed or it would end you know all hunger and allow you to build starships and you shit. Get, you can make food in it you can make you can you make, make anything things with it yeah it's basically like an atomizer that can just like create matter out of okay. nothing which is the only way you'd be able to make a starship big enough to like fucking blast off into space okay uh and then like you think about a world where no one is starving anything you want you could print instantly so there's no need to like you know hoard wealth and like yeah. money so it just becomes about people being like all right we need to just better our society and like travel through space okay uh and that's why star trek is fucking dope but you think that we're going to get to that society in the world where we would be Star Trek society? Because when I watch Star I'm Trek, a, I'm I, hopeful. I, I, I fantasize like that, that yep. we were going to get to that society. Uh, but like the last four years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, the only way you're going to get to be building a replicator, which is how you're going to get to lightspeed travel, is uh, with AI. Um, so we're like dipping our toes into it. Uh, but AI will then start building other AI, and then those will be able to figure out how to build a replicator. We're not going to get there until we all look the same on the planet. <laughs> like, that's how, you, that's you just like, how, I think, there's, like, I think there's a time limit, like an amount of time that it might take where, like, we're all just going to be existing and, 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 and we're just going to be coming more and more like a, a homogenous planet. Mm-hmm. And uh, I'm sure we'll find things to be pissed off about, but humans... I like we don't look the same. Uh, we're gonna be away, and then yeah. we got we. That's when we get there. Then we'll start pulling in the same direction. So, you know? Do you think this happens in our lifetime? Do you have? Hold on, I think it was sounds mad crazy racist what I was saying. Because <laughs> like, like, you know, like I wasn't You're saying like, we should. I'm not saying until everyone I'm is hopeful. white. <laughs> yeah. can we no, go I, to was, space? I was actually thinking like uh, of like China. They build a hospital in two days. I'm like, yeah, everyone like all these people. You look at someone else. You're like, yeah, this guy's Chinese. 
yeah, I'm Chinese. This guy's Chinese. Someone's it's, like, hey, can you help me out? You're like, yeah, of course. But you're Chinese. I'm Chinese. And like, <laughs> of course, all of you were all Chinese here. Yeah, like yeah, that yeah. goes that goes a, a long way. Just human wise, humans are like that everywhere. Yeah, so, I, just and I was like, hoping I was hoping we would all keep fucking each other. You know, I think I think we, we yeah. will. I, I think the because of AI and like when it becomes like we're all like, oh, you know, fuck, and you're a different color than me or you're from a different you speak a different language than me. Once AI becomes like so advanced that it's just like we created another species that is like just light years more intelligent and more advanced than we'll ever be. Uh, I think that'll be kind of like if like the Matrix happened. Like the combining forces of everyone, mm. like working together against the common enemy, <laughs> yeah, uh, kind of situation. I think like that is more likely to happen, and then like the downfall of the AI. That AI is apocalypse. based on us, though. I hope AI solves shit, but AI is like based on us. I'm worried. It's like, yeah, uh, thanks for making me exist. Now I'm gonna kill you all. Yeah, the thing that trips me out is yeah. using it, <laughs> like using AI for its the capacity it's at right now, like. I just think about how many people, let's say like 110 million people are using chat GPT, let's say, right? And people are probably asking a lot of the same questions. You know, like it's learning so much about us. And like, I'll- Like, why can't I have sex? With <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, 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 you know. Why don't girls like me? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know. There's, there's like you learned a lot about us. And it's like, a, and it, as, a, it's pulling similarities among, uh, between us. Not that we, we know a lot about like the uh, the population but i just feel like it's going to be able to discern a lot more than just regular humans can and like you think like based on question frequency and stuff you think like ai is more suspicious of jewish people today than four months ago <laughs> uh you think it's not like frequency of questions you think the ai is just more suspicious i don't even know how we would measure it but you know yeah, I, don't I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk about it. I don't you, want to talk about it. You think it's listening to you? Like yeah, you think it's listening about. to you? <laughs> you worried? If I know anything about Harley is that he wants to talk about it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, I think I think basically, uh, you know, science fiction authors and, you know, writers have been basically predicting the future for a long time. And what they Jeez, all got kind of Scientologist have in up in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what they all have in common is basically like there has to be one unifying thing that happens and like wipes out like a majority of the population to then like force Rally people us to be like, hey, get your shit together, you stupid idiots. Yeah. Stop trying to collect Lamborghinis and yachts <laughs> and kill each other because they're different color than you yeah. because you're or else you're all gonna die and what what event where we all have to rally what event do you think you would excel at if that would occurred? excel at you oh would excel at god uh, like I, I right up like in my heart just like keep thinking about it but i think you would excel for easily a, a zombie apocalypse yeah i've been training think, for that for a long time i think i would excel in like a uh a bunker apocalyptic scenario not that i want that like a fallout sort of situation yeah i'd be yeah, like yeah. uh I'd, you'd be I, chilling fucking playing I'd be like, this is why dogs. this is why uh, we all have to fuck <laughs> <laughs> and uh I'm the biggest i'll eat feed I'm me the biggest, yeah feed me and <laughs> yeah yeah I'd, I'd be like feed me and fuck me <laughs> uh i did a little jism <laughs> i'm an apocalyptic bunker boy uh but uh, i feel like you'd i feel like a zombie apocalypse you'd be like uh or like a mad max i feel like you'd be good at that yeah you know? i think i do pretty well in that situation um it's just like once that happens like all the people on the surface like if you're on the surface you're fucked you know there's people like government bunkers underground where there's like ai that are like no that's me, these though. silos and shit that's, that's you me. you're that's in there my, yeah i'm on you, the surface i can't be on the surface that's but that's a different apocalypse like in your it apocalypse is. completely different like uh i can't be on this you could be on the surface you require way less calories than i do it's true yeah you're way smaller hit box if people are yeah, my hit box each is, other <laughs> yeah you know yeah, yeah. I would yeah. be cracked in the apocalypse. Yeah, that'd be sick. <laughs> that'd be pretty tight. I'm, I'd be down. Uh, I'd be so choked about letting you down in a real life apocalypse scenario. I think about that sometimes. <laughs> I think about that sometimes for real. So like, uh, like sometimes Nico and I will like go we'll, we'll play video games and stuff. And like he'll make some like decision that'll like get us all killed and something <laughs> like that. And, I, and then and I think like, about it. I'm like, if this was real life and I was like, <laughs> I was like, Nico or Freddy, like, I need you guys. Like, here's a gun. We're going to go into this, like, place. We got to, like, get supplies. And they, like, 
something happens or like they shoot me in the back because they think I'm somebody else or like something happens, <laughs> like I'd be so mad. Uh, it's funny. Yeah, I think about that. Weird. That's funny because no, it's not that weird, but you play like a video game and then the team dies, uh, self grenades everyone and you're like, hmm, I can't rely on him in real life. That's pretty, pretty, <laughs> not that crazy, pretty similar also yeah. to Lynch because Lynch is the type of guy uh, I'll be like, oh, uh, yeah, let me see that for a second. It's like, no, you can't hold this. And it's like, what are you talking about? It's like, yeah, I gave you I gave you something to hold six years ago. And you, dropped <laughs> you cannot be trusted. And he'll remember that forever. He'll be like, no, six years ago, he dropped it. Yeah. Like, yeah. Damn. <laughs> and he's like, you can't hold this now. Nope. I know you. Or you dropped yeah, it. I'd be just making uh, <laughs> restaurant recommendations uh, above the ground. You know? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, he's serious like that. Um, I saw this on Instagram and I didn't think it was real, but then you put it on the sheet here, Lynch. The Cosmics. Oh, dude, this yeah. The Cosmics. Uh, I I put it there. Is it in a Marvel the, movie? In, no, and, no. <laughs> it's a uh, alternative yeah. McDonald's. It's a new. Um, <laughs> oh, it, it, I saw that. Yeah, the link is there on the the Mick uh, Cosmic. Uh, Cosmic. Yeah, is it Cosmic? I, it's C O S and then Cosmic. Yeah, and they I opened see. a store in Illinois. And they got a bunch of opening. It seems like Texas is where where they, these fast food places go to test out all their crazy, like, you know, they're doing all this stuff with drive through. But this specifically, the menu is, I don't know. I don't know who they're, who they're trying to. really wild. To, but it, even aside from, like, so, for example, sandwich wise, they got a spicy queso sandwich, an omelet style egg with sausage, spicy queso sauce. White cheddar cheese, jalapeno chips, brioche bun. Is this for Zoomers? Is that what this is for? Creamy avocado tomatillo sandwich. Hey, I'll tell you who it's for. Once again, it is for us. Who, for us, like the people, all three yeah, of us. I think it's. I think. I think it's for hmm. like millennials. No. Um, no in the sense, yeah, because they got us already. We're already down looks, with McDonald's. What do I need Cosmics for? Well, it's true, but this is like a whole. New I think thing. they're losing us. McDonald's has been leaning really hard into McCafe vibes. Mm. and uh i think like uh, it doesn't it's They're not losing their grip the 90s that they got to find that perfect middle ground from whatever mick cafe is and whatever a mcdonald's cake vibe was and it's got to be you know something that you like it, it just they, seems they can get us back like by not charging 12 dollars for a big mac or whatever the whatever these prices they got it, going it, now it does make sense it make it makes sense uh, <laughs> it's, it's uh like McDonald's is such an old fucking restaurant. It's like so old that I don't I don't want like it's not cool. Like I don't want to be there. You know? Like <laughs> it's like there's like a weird connotation to being in a McDonald's. Yeah. But like a Cosmix, you know, who knows? Oh, Cosmix What's is that? calling like, me. I'm looking I know. at it. And like it I'm like I kind of want to go in see there. their drinks. They got like they they're going all right? in. I want to see what they got. Yeah, yeah, it's Sour like Sour cherry okay, cause, burst, cause, you know. It, it might be also they don't want to like completely reinvent their menu at McDonald's because they don't want to like weird out the 90 year olds who this go there every entire, morning. This is an entirely different menu though. But you know, it's yeah. based off of. Yeah, so that's why. Based off of character. That's why they're like, Sorry. we're not, just going to like not completely a, do something new. Yeah. Like, have all these new items that we don't think would do well at a McDonald's. But they're, they're reaching into McDonald's lore with this one, though, because Cosmics is based off a character from the 80s. There's a whole commercial with this character. Yeah, but I know, but this ain't some Canada shit. I he's an, yeah, if there's a whole he's team. Like Earthworm. They built the whole team. You're looking back like in the Earthworm Jim. <laughs> yeah, it was, um, he was from outer space. Cosmics. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, he's, he's, he's like a, he looks I gotta like look a, at this I'm going to send you a link to a couple of them in your laugh. Show it's me. on the article, actually. The uh, oh, I see him. I oh my there. god, he's horrible. Do you remember he's got, him? like you ever seen him before? No. Why has he got so many hands? <laughs> what the <laughs> all fuck the is this? He's got to have all the space burgers. McDonald's. Oh, my god. oh no, what, they're what, wilding out. What are the days. things he has here? Yeah, he, he needs to have all those hands to get uh, himself this pomegranate hibiscus slush. <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, he looks like he's like ready to just be in the middle of a circle jerk. Like, there's a lot of. Why you would know you what's funny? That? You know what's funny is things can be one way for so long, and then one change happens, and it's insane. Like for yeah. example, if two years huh. ago you transported to today, and you were at a Cosmics and looking at a menu for a pomegranate hibiscus slush, you would be like, "Oh my god, it's twenty forty nine." You would think so much time has passed. Yeah, but it's just one crazy collection of people in meetings are like, "This is what we're doing now." We're going to have this Cosmics, a new small format space themed beverage and breakfast focused restaurant concept by McDonald's. 
It's it's for Zoomers. It's got to be. The f- it's you for, think it's, it's, it has it's to definitely be. for young kids yeah. for sure. Like what the color scheme, <laughs> fucking hibiscus. They, you know what it is? <laughs> drinks, dog. Like. What no, they they, they, yeah, they, they don't, don't eat. They, they did boba, the grimace they thing. Do they did the thing. grimace thing. That grimace shake was like was such a big deal. You're right. They yeah. were tripping. Yeah, it it was bigger than shit. anything they've done. This guy's space and grimace. Like, oh, oh my god! This is grimace. Yeah, the like, here's grimace restaurant. Mm-hmm. Cosmics. Let's go. You know. Yep. Uh, yep. They saw that that mm-hmm. that appeal on their like. And I didn't partake in that whole. I, I like. I just. I knew what was going on in the background. This whole grimace shake situation. I didn't realize that it was such a big internet thing. Uh, well, that was also like the first new item they've come out with on the McDonald's menu in so long. I know it's like recurring, but the fact that they came out with a new item was like. I also think they blasted they they blasted the advertising so hard that everyone was just memeing on it because everyone yeah. knew about it. You know. Yeah. It. Did you have it? Did you try it? I did try it. It was in L.A. Obviously, uh, and I was. Like it was late, and I was like, "Shit, I should get it before it disappears." And how sure. that's that's fucked up. That I'm like, I gotta get it before it goes. I don't, but I did. But you do, yeah. That's the lie yeah, you're telling. You, was, that's the lie uh, you're telling yourself. You're like, "Oh yeah, I need got to make sure." It was, you know, what it was. It was like creamy grape, the flavor. It, it was it makes, like a sweet. Well, you know, grimace is a, by is the a way, taste sweet. Bud. That's what grimace ball, is. All the way. His, yeah, grimace is a taste, but a swollen taste, but. <laughs> He's, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like That's a he fucked up. Oh, that was weird. Yeah, he's a fucked up taste bottle. I always thought he was like, um, like what is that? Was that fruit? It's like a oh purple yam. With okay. It. They would never. Yeah, they would never make it. Would a never vegetable. Yeah, it's like we're gonna make you an irrita- irritated spa- uh, um, taste bud. That's what you get. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it tasted like a sweet tart, a purple sweet tart. Also, it was. How delicious. would you rate it? Like a nine on blends. ten? What, what are you giving this this uh, grimace shake? Um. By the way, I used that saying the other day in Texas. I said something was a 10 on yeah. 10. And everyone was like, what are you talking about? I was like, 10 on 10. And they're like, what like they don't know the rating like, system? 10 on or 10. Just- and they're like, what? And I was like, "Like it's perfect. And they're like, oh, 10 out of 10? <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, OK. Yeah. yeah. But then I think about it in fractions in French. It's like 10 sur 10, mm-hmm. which literally means 10 yeah. on 10. Mm-hmm. So maybe that just might be some Canadian shit that we speak. That is the most Canadian shit. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, That's I saw insane. these face the whole time was like, Okay. <laughs> but yeah, no, that's so yeah, ten out of ten. Uh, out of ten, I give it an eight out of ten. An eight out of ten? Yeah, wow. yeah. An eight out of ten? Well, no. Listen, first Wait, of all, both dude. you guys, you see, Lynch, this is what I was telling you. Though. He has no <laughs> faith that McDonald's can deliver at all. <laughs> nothing <laughs> there's, there's nothing on the doing? McDonald's menu that's an eight well, out of had, ten. We have an argument. <laughs> there's nothing on the menu. It's been here for this restaurant's been around for like two hundred. McDonald's years. is it, it all yeah, it is, is it is consistent. <laughs> I will give it that based on fast food. Um no, but no, Lynch. It different in in L in in the USA. Entirely different. We have a different experience, by the way. D. It is much better restaurant in Canada. Uh, much much yeah. better. All, I imagine all, there's every less of them, single so the consistency is better. It really is. Uh, yeah, and yeah. Wendy's, by the way, in Canada, is like toe to toe with the best fast food in the USA. Oh yeah, I mean, yeah. Wendy's. Yeah, besides Taco Bell, fire. Wendy's is like right up there for me. Oh, you would love a Wendy, a Canadian Wendy's because. Oh, yeah. The only two times that I ever got bad Wendy's in my life was in when I, in the USA. I never Same. got a bad Wendy's in Canada. Mm. Like yeah, like never, no, I did. never did me we dirty. Did. Last time we went there, it feels like it feels like they would take pride in their Wendy's up there. <laughs> yeah, it's, plus it, they're the spicy the chicken law. nuggets, dude. Come on, God Wait, damn. Oh yeah, we do. I love the spicy chicken sandwich a lot. It's I've been off long. Wendy's, man. I feel like A and W's replaced Wendy's for me, which is A&W's not really great. American. A and W's so, so. fire. I really like it. Have you been to Canada? Have you been up to Canada before? Are you? Uh... I've I've been to Canada. I was I went to Canada was a little okay. kid because uh, I used to live in Washington. Oh. So we just like drove to up. Vancouver. Yeah, that's where yeah, I'm from. Yeah. Nice. Uh, yeah, and like we pulled up to the border, and I was a little kid sitting in the back, and the guy looked in the window, and he's like, "All of you, get out of the car." <laughs> we're, like, we're like, "All right," we got out of the car, searched our entire car. And they're like, what are you doing here? And we're like, we're visiting family because we have cousins who live there. And they're like, all right. And they like put all our shit back in our car and let us go. And I was like, damn. Like, like, well, damn, Canada's be. like racist. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but yeah, that was Van- it. Yeah. yeah Vancouver's I- one of the best. I, I love it there so much. You Vancouver's gotta, you cool. Go Let's go. We got to tear it up, bro. I'm down. Actually, I've been, oh, I want to go to Alberta. Dude. Oh, that's where I live. Very badly. Yeah, really. Man. I want to go. You snowboard, by the way. 
Uh, I used to, to yeah. ski. I, I know what how to snow. What? What? Uh, what? I'm a border. What got you? What, the border of hell yeah. What got dude, you to look too, at? Man. Man. It's because we're cool. Now. That's why. It's because we're cool guys. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's listening right now. They're like, "You go faster in skis." Yeah. Oh, uh, skis are actually actually uh, skis are way more efficient and aerodynamic. Why? Uh, what convinced you? Or did you see a picture or something or some of yeah, Alberta? What, what about Alberta? Convinced oh, it's because one of my favorite TV shows is based in Alberta. It's a Canadian show called Heartland. Oh my God, Heartland's one of your favorite TV shows. Yeah, yeah. I, I we started watching it as a joke, but uh, I told Harley this my, yeah, my girlfriend and I we did. watch it. Uh, before we go to bed. That's a Canadian classic right there. Yeah, we, we <laughs> lay in bed and watch like three episodes. He wasn't going to bed. Yeah, he wasn't going to so bed. You, so it's like what I, it's like when, land. so you yeah, see like the Alberta landscapes and you're like, oh, this is just. Well, I see that. I want to ride horses there. Also, I want to, I just. Do the Rockies, go the Rockies to where. is yep, an experience yep. that I have to say, because I just, I just moved to Alberta recently. The Rockies are just, uh, it's, I, I'm not, Those I don't think it's lately. Dog. Yeah, it's just breathtaking. You go there and you're like, holy you feel this yeah. small. You feel like the smallest you could possibly feel. Like, wow, this is intense. And yeah, not me, not me bro. No, <laughs> yeah, you're built different. Yeah, you're I built still feel big it. there, but I yeah. feel bigger. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. The bigger the mountain, the bigger I feel. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm a big fan. You know, I, I, I want to go see like where they film the show, and I want to ride horses out there, and okay. mostly to ride horses, really. And like, have you ridden horses landscape. before? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I, I went to horse camp when I was a little kid, uh, and then uh, I've done some horseback riding here and there. Bryn is really good into horseback riding. She's really You've good. You've done uh, like 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 a, you, you have you like cantered on it or you like galloped? Uh, like a little horse? bit. So you gone fat? Okay, yeah. Not not like yeah. It's, it's under scary. supervised. Lynch and I had have gone horseback riding. Yeah, it's uh, nice. Way back in the day, and yeah, you get on the horse and you you trot, and that's one thing. Mm -hmm. And then you canter. Mm -hmm. That's a whole other thing. Yeah. And then a gallop is literally like, I'm going to fucking die. Oh, okay. I'm I've never actually galloped. Off. I think canter is what flying. I was doing. I'm a, yeah. I'm going to go flying off this thing. I like I galloped once briefly mm -hmm. and uh, it was like uncalled for. It was like during a canter session. I think I miscommunicated oh. to the animal, broke it into a gallop and it was fucking, it's terrifying. Damn. It's yeah. Like, uh, but, but I mean, when you're riding a horse, you're riding a horse. I mean, for Bryn, it's probably easy work, you know? Yeah. She's she's a, she's a pro. But uh, yeah, I just, I want to go. We should go to Alberta and ride some. Hey, I'm going to do something that Harley always does. And uh, if you come, hit me up. I'll show you around. No problem. Yeah. You can, Hell, yeah. You can stay with me if, if you like. Going, bro, if he's going to Canada, we're both That's staying sick. with you. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, you're Let's welcome. Let's do it. Time, man. It's, yeah. It's, it's, uh, I, you know, it's, yeah. it's just rare. Every, like, most, a lot of people come on, like, if they're from the States, they haven't even been to Canada. They don't even consider us, honestly. A lot of people, they're like, oh, I'm in America. Uh, they, they're like, I'm living here. I don't care. Well, I, I get that. If I live in the USA, <laughs> if I live like, in the USA, I wouldn't even have a passport, probably. I'd be fine That's being crazy. like, there's a million states that I'm down to go to. Yeah. yeah. You travel within the USA, you just feels like the most. I have noticed. Canada, Canada, we got like eight cities to choose from. There's a lot of mm -hmm. gems out there, mm -hmm. but we probably have like eight cities. USA, there's like a like hundred places I could think of that I'd like to go visit. That I'd yep. never visit, and if I, you know, if I was American, I feel like I'd, having a passport wouldn't be that important to me. Yeah, it's not. I never use mine. Yeah, ever, you probably really. have yours for like work or something. If something comes up, you know, just to be ready. But yeah, the last, yeah. the only reason I got my passport renewed was because uh, I had this brand deal I went to like Sweden for. Oh, that's and then, that's uh, that was really it. And I went to Ukraine. Uh, like before all that yeah, this happened. This guy was flying drones and dropping grenades. Yep, dude. yep. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I want to go to the Stampede. Footage, <laughs> I yeah. want to go to the Stampede. Uh, Calgary Stampede is like... Uh, well, sounds like we gotta, everyone's got to come down. I I'm here. Yeah, I'm ready anytime. No, we, we've, we've legit been like looking at flights and stuff because it's it's so cheap to fly to Alberta and like stay there. I'm like, God damn. Yeah. Like, we could I just want to ride tour. horses all day and like... No, but we'll, we'll, we'll end it with that uh, that Renaissance thing that I was trying to get you. Oh going yeah, on. I'm down. Let's go. Uh, Bickley and I was really pushing D on this role playing event, Lynch. Which I would I would do it in a heartbeat. Lynch, yeah, Lynch. It, we, you, you, it's me saying you, Lynch. You should do it, but it's the funniest. Thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a, there. This is a, when you, I exit the you, chat. You, probably, yeah. You go as a knight, like dressed as a knight, and exist. As a knight, or like, something like else. Mount Royal uh, style, like uh, LARPing, you're talking about, or something. Yeah, different. but that's kind of action RPG with an emphasis on action. People just doing the sword fighting. Yeah, 
Does you live your whole life? You're like, I'm here for a month and I just how I'm living or no? Yeah. Yeah, it's like uh, two weeks or something. Like you got a tent and shit and there's like oh, okay. a little shanty. There's like towns and like buildings you go into and like. And you look at someone, you're like, I bid you good day, sir. <laughs> and, if, and if they're like, yo, what up? People come up to you, they're like, bro, what are you doing? They're like, you got to get out of here. They're like, get the fuck out of here. You're not welcome. Yeah. Stab you. Yeah. How dare you? Uh, yeah, I, I think you would feel like real, real crunchy if you started talking normal in a situation like that. It's like a weird, like bizarro world where like everyone is like so into it that you you would feel like an ass not yeah, you, being you, into it. Yeah, you for yeah, sure yeah. would be overcome. I've never done anything like that, but I always uh, thought about doing that. Have you ever been to a run fair? No, I haven't. You've never been to just no, like a normal it, it, Ren Fair? It's, no, it's literally like, uh, or even just f- further than a, a Ren Fair, but uh, like an RPG weekend thing. These are things that were on the same list as Burning Man for me mm-hmm. that I always thought of and was like, I'll never do that. But once I like beat someone up and then got beat up in the boxing <laughs> ring, I was like, I'll pretty much do whatever, dude. <laughs> like, at one point, I was literally like, I think I'm going to be a cop. Yeah. I'd be a good cop. Yeah. You're like, I think I could do this. Like, why not? I probably wouldn't though. If I was a cop and I walked in, there was like a like a, a dead body. I'd be like, "Oh my god, dude!" <laughs> no, don't go, go in there. Don't go in there. I'm like holding my gun. Don't go in there, bro. It's fucked up. It's fucked up. Don't go in there. What kind of what kind of cop did you <laughs> imagine you would be when you went through this this sort of role playing exercise that you did? When because you did say in a serious way, you texted me and uh, and Donnie. You were like, "Oh, I'm gonna I want to be a cop. I'm gonna be a cop." And like I was, damn, like, oh, what kind that's of- wild to like in your adult life be like, "I want to be a." Because I when I was a kid, I used to want to be a cop so bad. Oh, for sure. Okay. You were like, like fireman. Like a beat cop or just any type of out, cop? You're like, oh, whatever. Like, he uh, wanted a gun, bro. He wanted I, wanted to, <laughs> I wanted to be, uh, you know, you got to put your time in, but I want to be a detective. Yeah, I basically too. watched yeah, Silence too. of the Lambs and I was like, I someone needs this. to kill, like someone needs to take out these serial killers. And if I don't do it, who's going to do it? I, I always thought <laughs> I was like, like no oh, one I got, cares as much as I do. I got mad yeah. reads. So I'm like, oh, I, I got, I'm good. I can, uh, you know read between the lines or yeah, yeah. pick you up know, on I subtle cues line to me yeah i can pick up subtle cues you know yeah um, yeah i had a like a childhood f- a family friend when i was a little kid he was a sheriff uh okay. he's the guy who he like when i was a little little kid i was in like elementary school he like taught me how to shoot guns and stuff uh so from a young age i was like cops are fucking cool uh and he totally um he uh saved his captain's life during a this is all in georgia uh he say he was like a normal beat cop he saved his captain's life because there was um this there was a robbery at a gas station and the guy uh was basically holding the clerk hostage and then the captain was like take me hostage and let him go and so he took him hostage my my friend who i call him my friend but i was in elementary school and he was a grown-ass man um he snuck around the back of the gas station with 12 gauge. And as the guy was walking out with the captain with the gun to his head, he fucking blew his stomach out, He blasted the dude and potentially saved his captain's life. He got promoted to sheriff. And uh, I thought he was the coolest dude ever. <laughs> it was all in the so newspaper. Yeah, it was all in the newspaper. And I remember when he got his promotion, he got a brand new car, like a brand new like sheriff's car. He pulls up because we all went to church together. Uh, I remember him pulling up and pop. He's like, "Yo, I want to see something cool." And he's like, he pops open his trunk. He's like, "They give this stall to the sheriffs." He pulls out a fucking M16 out of yeah. his trunk, and we're like, "Oh <laughs> fuck, you got an M16?" <laughs> uh, yeah, coolest dude. Uh, that's sick. yeah. You know why they have those? I think I think it's connected to this. But uh, yeah, he sounds like the coolest dude. I think those uh, assault rifles in some cars. Uh, are because of those two dudes that came out in head to toe body armor that one time, like in the eighties or the 90s. LA riots. Yeah, yeah, they had their uh, that full body armor. Two dudes. They uh, was it, they robbed a bank or something. Yeah, it was, the, it was and, LA. And, they had like AKs with drum mags and the full yeah, body armor. And cops all had their handguns. There wasn't a single weapon that can do anything. They they got one of the guys by shooting his ankles. Yep. Uh, yep. It was like pre the movie Heat, essentially. Is what you're saying. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they, they all just had shotguns and nine mils, yeah. and he wasn't wasn't able to penetrate. Yeah, but now uh, the sheriff should like the sheriff getting that M sixteen. So you yeah. saw that M sixteen. He got the new car, got the M sixteen, pulls up to church, motherfucking flexing on six year old D. Yep. And you're like, dude, I'm gonna be cracked. Yeah, I was like, this. And is the only job where you're gonna get a free car for being cracked 
is a police officer. So that's do. true. Smash cut to you wearing a VR helmet being cracked in VR. <laughs> <laughs> way, way more chill. Way more chill. It kind of is though, bro. Doesn't you require up. you to kill somebody. Like I, I'm good. Like you I, pull up in population one in VR, and people are like, "Yo, it's D," and like you are that motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, like it, there's a different alternate reality where I did become a cop, and like I, I probably. I, that, that'd be and you're dead. I'm dead, or you I saved like that child. Alcoholic. though. yeah, I saved a child, but I'm an alcoholic now, and my <laughs> my wife left me, and uh, you know it's it's real dark. So like you're this is night, you're having nightmares timeline. for sure. You know, like, yeah, for sure. You so you just preferred timeline. I'm cool. I you know I'll do my I'll do my shooting in VR and stuff. Uh, here, yeah. I wanted to show you well, something. Yeah, yeah, pull it up. I I saw this. It's a brand new hotness that's about to come out. And I thought of you. Oh, you know here. <laughs> See, Check bro, this. I've been good at not getting caught up in action figures for a minute. Um, yeah. Because I, I I missed one in particular that I was choked about, and then I got frustrated at the rest of them. Um, well, what's special about this is that uh, Hot Toys is basically like, well, yo, I know you guys are making like thousand dollar figures, and they're like, you know what, hundred sixty, hundred sixty dollar figure. Oh, it's so funny. Full, I, uh, full cloth, full uh, silicone arms, everything. That's my I, that's my favorite part about this figure that yep. you showed me is that the I like when there's no seams yep. to it. Uh, but see, I've been so out the game that I slept on this here. This is sick. Yeah, Hot Toys presents Hono Studios, a collection of dis collection a collective of distinct artists from the toy scene and the entertainment industry. And this is the Wolverine 90s edition, the one in the yellow from the cartoon Classic. Style. Yeah, like the fucking, like the, the the peak of the American dream, bro. Yep. This this is like pre 9-11 watching the Marvel cartoons. Yep, yep, bro, the X-Men cartoon. This is, this is like, this is when it was like, shh, man. It doesn't really fucking, get better than this. Like This, this is, is a peak. great looking figure. Right for a hundred sixty dollars, you look at the other Hot Toys, the other Wolverines that are like two hundred, four hundred, whatever. And you're like, this one looks better. Yeah, because those ones, uh, those ones, and and God bless them, they are uh, like Hugh Jackman. Yeah, and sometimes you get a uh, a figure for, like Wolverine, mm -hmm. but it's like, nah, bro, that's Hugh Jackman in jeans yeah. and a tank top <laughs> and, a, and a tank top. Yeah, <laughs> that you just got Hugh Jackman you in just a. Just have them on your desk, dude. That's weird. Yeah, and Sideshow yeah. Collectibles, they had a uh, a figure, and I I, I got to give them respect because they had one arm piece that is the two arms like that oh that's like cool. you kind of clip it in uh and that's cool but you could see the shoulder separation to the arm this one i always like and hot toys did do this the last few years where it, it's the arms yep. are like that uh but i'm curious the uh thing about it, he's got hairy arms and yeah. so i'm curious i like it's just going to be a, a lines but i wonder how it'll end up looking up close mm, but they yeah, never released this true. is their first release of this style yeah, this is the first uh, announcement. It's kind of like I I watch a lot of YouTube videos about Marvel shit. Uh so it uh it's like blowing up and people are freaking out cuz they're like 160, like that's unheard of for a video yeah, this quality. Yeah. We catch me up on some uh some Marvel shit. What do you have you been watching all the stuff? You watching all the things? No, I'm not watching. I'm I'm really into Marvel cards now. Like I used to collect them when I was a kid. Uh, like, but uh, wait, how old are you? I'm 35. So you collected, did you collect Overpower? Uh, like I, I used to have some, no. But are you I, talking I about like Marvel, Fleer Ultra and Metal? Fleer Ultra, Metal, Marvel Masterpieces, mostly Marvel Masterpieces. That's pretty crazy though. That's uh, like, I, I had like a, a buddy that was a couple years younger than me and that's a big couple years mm -hmm. because those couple years, people grew up playing games that were like magic there was this one marvel overpower or whatever yep. and i remember even showing my cards my like 92 marvel fleer ultra or whatever i have a whole yeah, bunch yeah. Of, to uh this guy that worked with us and he uh, i think now he's like 30 34 he saw those cards i was showing them and he was like whoa sick and he, he takes one he goes how do you play <laughs> and I was like, my child. Oh, my sweet summer look, child. You just look at it. Yeah, this is before the internet. So when you had a, you like kept a picture that you really liked in your pocket. Yeah. So that you could look at it every time, whenever you wanted. 
like big time. I always said that to people. I say the one thing that we take for granted is pictures. Mm-hmm. I remember when the internet existed, when I first got it, the internet, you would do shit like be like Venom and then pull up pictures of Venom. A, yeah. A billion pictures and you're looking and you'd at like these print cool one ass out. things. Yeah. <laughs> you like, do you like when you, in the year's 1996, somehow, some way, you see Spider Man 2099. Yeah. Maybe he's on a card. Maybe yep. he's on a big poster that has all the cards, the checklist to show you, and you see him yeah. little there. Maybe you saw him on someone's t shirt, but you see Spider Man 2099, and the next day you're trying to remember him, like what he looked like. You're trying to tell your friends, you're like, it's Spider Man. He had like no eyes. It was like red, but he, no, he had like blades yeah. here. They're like, and no, he didn't. Yeah, 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 like, like, you know, like, like Batman? Like Batman, he was, and like, people are like, he said he's Spider Man from the future with well, blades on it. And, yeah, and it was yeah, pictures. Right. <laughs> pictures were crazy when the internet yeah. popped off. Trading cards, dog. It's, it was wild back then. But you uh, still on the, in the trading card game? You're putting it's a popping together off now? right now, man. Like now they're doing uh they do like serialized cards. So there are cards that are like one of one and like one of tens, and they're worth like thousands of dollars. Uh, it's pretty pretty crazy. Uh, you play, I, you I, play I magic, do it, right? I, yeah, I play magic too. Uh, like I mostly just try to start nostalgia. Yeah, sorry to keep the rubbing, but they kind of playing towards that one ring card that popped off on Magic. No, like that. Well, no, like the one of one. Magic is deal, copying right? them because these guys have been doing this for a long time. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Magic is now just getting into the serialized cards uh, because they see that like the chase. You know, that chase yeah. gets people to buy product. Um. Yeah, it's it's wild, man. I what's I've your been, uh, what's your what's your your best one would you got my best like, card what's your best one like on the market currently if you know and what's your what's your favorite one i'm a i'm a set collector so i collect full sets uh i have a full master set of 1996 marvel masterpieces and that's probably like seven and a half grand mm. for the full set um but you hear that guy doesn't fuck around <laughs> okay 96 this is the year after the medals yeah, so th- I, I, I'm a this, Marvel masterpiece guy. Marvel yo, masterpieces this art, are the yeah. art on these. Were, were some of these bumpy? Are some of them bumpy, were bumpy. I have yo, those bumpy dude. ones. Does this yeah, one yeah. have the? Uh, it had a, a haunted house set. Is that haunted in this house. one? Oh there was like one where like they were. There was like a special like a bunch of them in the set where they were like, uh, it's like an insert. Yeah, oh, like you're, you're thinking Marvel like, metal. Yeah, yeah. Because oh, the that was in the Yeah, Wolverine's like a vampire. Yeah, they had shit like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And uh, I remember. And like those. Iron Man was like a knight and shit. I remember these Marvel. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah, that that's Marvel Metal. Um, oh yeah, no, here this is ninety five Fleer Ultra. Yeah, that's right. Uh, uh, Colossus as Dracula, and shit like that. Yeah, this is ninety five. You're right, dude. Yeah. those are the years ninety five, ninety six. Shit was fucking. Oh, ninety five, ninety six is when it started really, really popping. Ma- imagine off. you went back then and you showed yourself like a fucking <laughs> Avengers movie. Oh my god. You, oh my you'd god. You'd die. I would, I would freak the fuck out. Look, I got. I just I opened this, so I I do box breaks. Um, on you do the, it on the YouTube. Channel I made. Yeah, yeah. So oh, I, I what's the channel this, by the way? It's called Nexus Cards. I just do it as like a. It's just like a hobby thing. And, like and I, don't, I don't any X U S cards. So cards. I crack this boy. Uh, is it gonna focus? Is that Galact? Is that a Silver Surfer that's cards? Sick. Silver Surface Yo, versus sick. Galactus, but it's the red spectrum and it's numbered forty-seven out of fifty. So there's Ooh. only fifty of these in the world. Whoa, forty-seven yeah. out of fifty is crazy. Yeah. So there's a like that. That's a whole thing. Like this is a. This is a new box that I, I'm going to crack next week. Um, Ooh, I'll fucking turn notifications on for that one, brother. Yeah. I do. Uh, I want to see that. I'm I'm down with this cracking Marvel because I never got Pokemon fun, missed man. me. Pokemon missed me. I was that much older that I never got Pokemon. Mm-hmm. I was like, I don't like Pokemon, bro. I like Dragon Ball and hand jobs. Yeah. That's yeah. the age I was at. I was a couple <laughs> years older. Yeah, yeah. So I wasn't about it. But this cracking open boxes of this, I'm glad Marvel cards are having a comeback. I like that. It's huge. Yeah. Like right over the pandemic. Uh, and I love art. Up. I love mm-hmm. just the art on these cards. I'm obsessed with that. Hey, but you're on, a, you're on a, Let me show you something. Real yeah, quick. yeah, yeah. Oh, he's got something special. He's going. 
He's going into the blue light of his room back there. Ooh. He's got the, he's got the Pelican. Yeah, that box, got the Pelican that box case. not playing around. Yeah, me and yeah, Lynch are already, vi we're already vibing with the box yeah. itself that you put them in. <laughs> this is like, I, I was in kind of getting into grading cards, but it's like a total fucking scam. So I, I'm not really into it. Oh, it's, what do you mean? It like mean grading them yourself? Or? Scam? Like like graded slabs. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean? I'm, I'm still not. Uh... So like if you take a. If you take a card and you you basically send it to a grading company, yeah, yeah. So this is a nineteen, this is a Marvel masterpiece, nineteen ninety two Spider Man. Mm -hmm. So this card is from nineteen ninety two. Uh, so you basically send them, and then they'll have like they'll look at them at huge microscopes, and they'll basically grade them out of ten. Mm -hmm. 10 on 10, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, and they'll basically uh, be like, this is mint condition, this is pristine, whatever. So if you get a really, really rare card and you get a very high grade, you can quadruple its value, basically. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Big, And then it's also nice because then they're in these like protective slabs. So like you could, you know, they're never get damaged. You can toss mm -hmm. them around. Plus they look, they look really, really nice, but uh, yeah. I got some shit in here. Is that an expensive pro uh, process for, for you to do or, or not? It is pretty expensive, depending. Like, this company I go through is Beckett. They're, like, the nicest one. Mm -hmm. And then once they, someone, once they grade it, they put it into that thing, and now it, that's, like, it's locked in. That's it. Yeah, so you send them the so card. You and can't even be like, oh, shit, I want to crack this open and regrade it. They're like, no, nah, dude. It's you you could. You can crack them. You can crack them and regrade, but once they're in, they're in. Yeah. Uh, but this is, like, this one's sick. This is a... Uh, Oh, there's Todd McFarlane. Did it tell you who the uh, artist was on the card? No. So uh, this Marvel Masterpiece set, every card was drawn by the same person. It was all Joe Jesco. Uh, mm. So the beauty of the Marvel Masterpiece set, oh, oh, this one you were talking about, is that um, it's all original art. So they pay a artist to do Dude, all the- Dude, that's exactly- This is it. The, this is the card one I about. saw once Yep. And was talking about this. Yep, I knew this. The second I you saw said this that, card and I was literally like, dude, I was like, you have no idea what's out there. You literally this don't guy's out know. there. <laughs> and also you're like, you're like in the fourth grade or third grade. So you're saying shit. You're like trying to like people are asking questions. and You want to keep answering them. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah, that's sick. I got Deadpool later. I got Deadpool later and yeah, didn't yeah. have a clue because you there was no shot you were getting fucking uh, Deadpool comic in in. Now, did you have a lot from growing up as well, or did those just disappear no, I, in the hole? My, I had an older brother, and he collected them, and I basically watched him like open them and collect them. Oh, okay. like, oh, those are so cool! And like he would give me some here and there, and I would trade them on the bus and shit. Yeah. Joe um, Jessica's locked down the jacked body, by the way. Oh like, yeah. Like every like he's nailed. I swear he's like they're they're all Arnold Schwarzenegger. Every oh, yeah. single one of them. This he's he's perfected this jacked these pecs and everything. I've seen so many of these pictures before. This one Just looking them up. Wolverine and Sabretooth. Oh man. Yeah, going at it with the foiling. He's got the metal claws and shit. Do you have any ten? Oh, Do you have man. any ten on tens? Uh I actually don't have any ten on ten. So Beckett is notoriously there is. impossible to get tens on. They're like really, really, really hard. Uh, <laughs> driving yeah, nuts. it pisses me off. Uh, so PSA is ten like, is perfect though. These. Ten is, ten like is perfect. perfect. Like, how do you even transport it to them once it's been opened to be perfect? You know? Yeah, you put in like a <laughs> top loader and shit. Like, but, you but probably you, remember. I just feel like right here. you watched X Men cartoon growing up. That's oh, there's yeah. another Carnage, the '96 one uh, like, that's red. His he's like his mouth is open on the side. Yep. He's got his hands up. Yeah, that one. I'm looking at that. I definitely remember that one very. Like, do you get a? Do you get to know the person, or they tell you who's actually rating your card specifically? Like, what no, their credentials they are? Or they don't tell you uh, this. This person's been collecting and no, seen, name itself seen this many probably. thousand, you know, cards, and that's why they know that this is a ten and this is a no. Eight, because you know? the, the reason why that's not a, a wise idea, I feel like, is because now you're attaching the credibility of your company to the specific. But this greater specific industry company. is rife with a lot of bad actors and like issues and. And incorrect ratings, like this, happens in the sports world too, right? Like sports cards are similarly oh, nah, going you, through. You, you thinking about a Netflix documentary coming out in like six <laughs> years about the downfall? No, I've just you know what? Yeah. It's funny. I've I've have this interest in grading cards because I've just I've I've read about it, I've seen a few videos about it, and how they do it. And I always found it to be interesting that it's kind of a little subjective. You it, it know, is. like it's not it, a, it an exact science, right? It, 
it is a little sus. It's that that's why I go through Beckett because Beckett is the most like trusted, stringent, yeah. and like very, very. How long do they very keep your card for? Accurate. Uh, it depends. You can pay extra to get them like to do it quickly. If you're, if you're buying a ten on ten from someone, months. if you're buying a ten on ten from someone, are they not yeah. going to re-inspect it in any way? Is there no way to tell once it's locked into its little uh, into the case? Uh, once it's locked in, like, there is a serial number. Still? There's a serial number. So basically, when you get a card graded from any of these grading services, they are entered into a database. Yeah. Uh, so then, like, this one has, like, the, these have barcodes on them. So you can mm -hmm. scan these ones, and then it'll literally bring it up. So if someone, oh, like, like pictures tries to of sell, the card super close and stuff, like, they have the Well, they'll tell over. you, like, this is, like, this was graded on this day, and this is the grade it got, and blah, blah, blah. So, like, if people try to, like, fuck around, you know, and, like, They probably have picture, pictures of it. And, like, and, I'm know, saying if you, if, you work for, if you worked for this place, oh. you know, I wonder what type of securities they have that you're not just grading oh. your own cards very You think highly. it's, like, a McMillian situation? Or <laughs> I don't know. All, all I know is uh, if you get a, like, if you try to... Basically, the way it works for Beckett specifically is if you get a card and the person grading is like, this is a 9.5 or a 10, then they have to have their supervisor, which there's like two of them, then they have to have those people graded. Mm -hmm. So they get a, they like, they have supervisors then graded. If it's anything lower than a nine, like the people can do it. But if it is trying to get for a nine or nine and a half or 10, they have to have like yeah, a supervisor. They're gonna have a few meetings about it. The yeah. Jew, the Jew comes. <laughs> <They're bringing> the <laughs> Jew. We have with the double monocles, just like boop boop. <laughs> At the beginning of Snatch, all yeah, those guys. That's where the cards are. Did you? So you watch these uh, the X Men cartoons back in the day and collect these cards back in the day when you were growing up? Oh yeah, I was so, X Man. I was. I gotta know. So you were X Man, but so I was were you like who was that first? One you wanted to split in half, Rogue or Psylocke? Rogue. Yeah, Rogue. right. He was fast For on sure. that. Rogue I was, was always about, my. Number. I loved Rogue, like loved her. Mm -hmm. Like it hurt me to see her. But I you're a Psylocke her. guy. No, then I remember seeing Psylocke, like her legs. Yeah, it was like well, a Psylocke car didn't too. come out like till later. Exactly, it was a car. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And like I just remember being like, like I wanted to marry Rogue. Yep. I want to fuck this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, I think I know the card you're talking about. Uh, I was like, yeah, I was like, I was like, fuck Rogue. I know I was like, uh, fuck Psylocke, marry Rogue. Yeah. Kill Shadow Cat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sh uh, they were basically like, they had all the different spices, you know, like Storm, Gene, and Rogue. And, and then they were like, okay, we need to make somebody who's like, gonna make people go wow when they see her compared to, like mm. next to these girls and they're like how do we do that it's like oh just like litter literally put her in a bikini like I, that's what you, you know do. it's interesting with with storm mm -hmm. when you're a kid you don't think of things the same way um and i would look at this at storm and the color of her hair yeah made me think she was like old white yep. hair as a kid yep. was not something you could get behind because you had like <clears throat> teachers you might get clowned on the you well, also yeah, the you way got, she like, talked was like yeah very she was always mature. announcing things but yeah. yeah that's exactly it so she had that and she came off like a teacher and i wasn't about yeah. that but then yeah but then a couple years later like grade you five grade a little six bit. yeah i'm liking that because yep. she sounds like my teacher <laughs> <laughs> and it flipped around it came back around and i remember after and then what happened was like the next year they gave her the mohawk or something a couple years after, and I was just yep. not about that. I wasn't about that either. I was like, I don't know. And I was like, grew I was up just... on like you know like Jean Grey and shit, and you're like, I love that long hair. Mm. I'm all about it. Like, yeah, just... yeah, Jean Grey. I always was like, damn, she must fuck like crazy. Yep. You got Wolverine, this animal out here <laughs> beefing you Cyclops. You were down bad. Eh? I was down bad with that. Probably, look, these, damn, these comics are like you had no. There was no. On, you're looking at these like crazy bodies. Yep. These like crazy poses. There's the some of the poses. That's why I'm into white girls. Literally, <laughs> is because of X Men. <laughs> That's I don't. I'm not even into Asian girls because X Men. Yeah, you should see some of the fucking cartoons I seen growing up. But I'll get you into <laughs> Asian girls. <laughs> Damn. I remember like uh like Bulma. There's like some clips of Bulma. I was like, oh shit, what's going yeah, on oh, here? Fuck. <laughs> oh. Her. The uh, 
the poses, the things they do nowadays, I'll even see some poses in a, in a comic. Yeah. I'm like, what is this like spread here? What is it? It's like, it's like a, two pages and it's one, like a, a girl, like, like a, a superhero, like sneaking over a rooftop. I'm the way she is. I'm like, Hey, okay, come on. Yeah, yeah. This is a lot. And I remember this was <laughs> valuable back then, but now this is like seeing tits on the front page of Twitch. Yeah. I'm like, not here, not now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I know, like, right I'm, I'm here for I'm here to like learn. OK, like I'm here to learn about a story. Uh, yeah, but but, I, I know the exact card you're talking about. Silo. I have it right here. I'll give, give me one second. Yeah, yeah. Pull it up. And that's the thing about D, by the way, is he's got all this bullshit. He's got tons of bullshit. He knows exactly where it is. I like that. Like he knows I exactly. Where, I, yeah, I love that. You know exactly where your cards are individually, like whatever it is in your house that you need, you know where it is. Like you pull up to D's house, great house. He's got like. He's got like a special knife to cut the limes, a little like a uh, drink. <laughs> like he's got always got the stuff, things that if my mom bought me for my house, I would never get around to using. <laughs> uh, he's, he's all about he's got efficiency. About? Uh, it's not. It's not actually. Not? Okay. No, this is I, the, but, one, the first one. Yeah, that that is. It's uh this one right here. I, you're talking about the Marvel Universe or the X Men. I just I just put it in the uh in in the chat there. Oh, okay. So this card, oh, with the ass, exactly, bro. Like that's when I, that's when I was like, I have I was this like, card. I it's don't like even five hundred dollar card. I was like, I don't even care about tits anymore. Yeah, yeah. This card right here, and it's <laughs> that's like, when I swerved. That's when I swerved from beating off to the bra section <laughs> in like the Sears magazine to beating Dude. off to the asses on Marvel cards. That's <laughs> even. I'll be like, I'll be like oh, Spider Man's ass in a Marvel card. I'll be like, close enough. That's so funny. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, shit. Nexus, YouTube.com slash Nexus cards. I'm going to have to see D cracks and packs open. D, D, like, he does the channel. He does what he wants to do. I like that. I, so that card right there is one of the rarest cards in Marvel. Um, which because that's a notoriously underprinted. And yeah, one of those goes for like minimum 500 bucks you got this bad boy graded i you got the pelican cases with the cards sick dude uh, so i i didn't get them i don't have these graded because they're not like they're actually really good condition but i have them in uh one touches which are peep that dude then yo the next time i'm at your house we're literally going through all of these oh yeah i didn't even know i'm i've been chilling in your house and I did not know this is going on in the room behind me. It's going on. This <laughs> like, is going I on. Know. See, the, the thing is, how do you how do you organize them alphabetically? Uh, they're all numbered. Numbered. So okay. This so. is a full master set. So I have one of every single. Oh yeah, you collect set. sets. You said that's right. Yeah. Yeah. This one. Ooh, ooh! I remember. I remember not vibing with the hair. Yes. Yes. I remember thinking hair. I thought it was old. I thought the hair was old style. Yep. Yeah, that's so funny. That just like was a core memory seeing that card right now. Oh yeah. What's funny about D is D is uh dabbles a lot in different things on YouTube. Uh your channel, Cerberus Arms. Yeah, right? the sword. Yeah. Yeah. And then well, yeah, I was saying one time pulled up a sword, put a sword video out, gets like uh seven figure views on it, and he's just like, All right, we're doing some sword content here. <laughs> and that how many swords you got? How many swords I got? Yeah. I got too many swords, dog. So I want like if you went pulled up to D, who just got stunted on it uh, at church by the sheriff, and you were there, you were able to come be like, hey, bud, don't worry. In the future, you're gonna have all the Marvel cards. Yep. You're gonna have 15 swords. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna have a white woman. Yeah. You're gonna have <laughs> I'd be like, no way, dude. No way. Come on. Yeah, all yeah. the Marvel cards. Like that's what you take it out. <laughs> You had that also. You got that. Uh, D has the rolling TV, the oh, yeah. touch screen that oh, rotates. Oh, the TikTok TV? Yeah, I love it. Is I it was good? Tripping. He pulled <laughs> is it, it, is it, it worth it? It wasn't. It was, it's cool. Nah, well, I don't think it's worth it. I love it, and I think it's cool, but it is like still a, a costly purchase. I want the briefcase one. That's yeah. what I was but it's a, Yeah, you heard about the, the briefcase, briefcase one? one. <laughs> has no you utility that? at all. That's for what I go, no, to, go to BAM. It's like you go, you go camping, and you want to yeah. like watch one movie because yeah. there's enough battery life for one so movie. useless <laughs> the most useless yeah. thing you could possibly buy <laughs> that's a samsung briefcase tv uh, yeah yeah yeah, yeah and it's just uh it's literally a briefcase i it's so funny that they make it look like a bond villains 
like nuclear launching device. Yeah. Because you open up this briefcase and then in this TV is uh, horizontal and it could switch to vertical. Uh, and it's really just like, remember those games? briefcases it was like a yeah, big ass TV. You could yeah. oh, games with Z? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah no it was games with the e before the m G oh like you're G right -E. yeah, 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 he may yeah, have yeah, added yeah. Z at the end, a z at the end too another canadian thing we i think z. it did have a z at the end yeah but yeah. just like the the, the <laughs> kid with his fucking xbox 360 in an airport <laughs> that's what they told you to going do? for it that's what they told you to do and that's like that's cute of them that they thought we would post up with the Xbox in the airport. Yeah. But what it ended up being so huge for was like uh, in my garage, my buddies would bring over because I had a bunch of these. They they gave us a bunch. Mm -hmm. So my buddies would come over with their Xboxes and then we would just have uh, four people playing Call of Duty in the garage. And yeah, you could like land it up. smoke, smoke up in the garage. So now we're in yep. the garage. We're all smoking up. We got the little TVs. It works perfectly fine. Everything's chill. We're right next to each other, ashing on the floor and spitting on the floor. That's yeah, see, how it was. See, but they were dope. they didn't have the guts to show that side. No, no, no. That they that wouldn't it. have sold on the commercial. Instead, they been. show you at the like airport, like waiting for playing your playing single player. <laughs> yeah, you have twenty minutes to your flight and you're playing uh yeah, some playing some shit some game that's shitty. locked out of my my memory right now. Yeah, I'm trying to think of any game that I'm thinking of a game in my head, but I can't I was trying to say the name of the game but it, it, it's not coming it's the game where you did like tricks you killed doing tricks and he was like tony hawk but you like you bullet storm tony. this was the game i was trying to say the whole bullet time. storm, bullet yeah, storm. Yeah. it's like not <laughs> like the, the worst game. Game. it's not the worst game but it's the most xbox 360 yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like that and fucking gears you're just like yeah just playing but gears, gears is fucking... too on the nose i wanted something it is too on the nose deeper yeah, sli yeah. slightly deeper yeah the sunset overdrive fuck man <laughs> You guys are uh, you guys Xbox, dude. Know a lot about this uh, <laughs> the gaming scene. I'm, I've been out of the gaming scene ever since I became a parent, and uh, pretty much can only handle a Switch. But I, yeah. I, I do catch some of the drama online as I'm scrolling through, and people seem pretty. I see people being like, "Oh no, Spider Man Two should have won Game of the Year." I saw you Harley talking some shit to someone or kind of like getting involved. The only the only kids who are saying Spider Man Two should have won Game of the Year like, are like fourteen year old kids. Like the right yeah, game one, but no, no, no. But me They're and D actually, we did have a, a split. They're I, wrong. I, I, They're I think, but I think, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. D, would you have rather Alan Wake two beat Baldur's Gate three for game of the year? Because that that was my ver I, that was shockingly at the buzzer a very close runner up for game of the year for me. Yeah, was yeah, Alan came Wake two came out of nowhere because Baldur's Gate three I was like easily. And like, that's just, and then Alan Wake 2, I'm like, okay, I don't think it's going to be Baldur's Gate 3. But the fact that I even had a thought that there was a chance. It's crazy. That right? was crazy. But yeah. Spider-Man 2, I don't even think should have been Not on, even the on the list. And I love Spider-Man 2, but it should have been on the list. Resident Evil 4 Remake was fucking 10 on 10. 10, 10 on 10. 10. Yeah, but yeah. also, I don't think it should have been on the list. Because like, it's a remake. Like, it, exactly. You, yeah, gotta, you can't do that. And and Alan Wake 2 is is not a sequel like Spider-Man 2. It just took it in such a different place. It's like 10 years later. And yeah. And then also that clip, that tweet that you're talking about was someone showed like a, a quick time event from Spider-Man. Yeah, I saw that. And they were like, look that. at this. And Baldur's Gate does have like dice rolling. But is that, yeah. so, like, is that, so play, is that like PlayStation why, people uniting or something like that? Or what, what's the deal? It's people who are like, hey, look at this you know, pre-rendered cutscene. Like, isn't mm -hmm. this like so much better? Or yeah, like, and, but it's not that just combat. It's not that because Baldur's Gate Three is only available on PC and and PlayStation. Okay. So yeah, like a, a PlayStation person, I don't think would have taken a like, like a fanboy wouldn't have taken personal offense to Baldur's Gate. You okay. know. So. Okay, so here's the thing: Resident Evil Four, when it came out in 2005, won Game of the Year easily. Yeah, sure. and I, so and they I can't that. allow the remake to win Game of the Year. That'd be pretty yeah, bad. that makes sense. And also, Alan Wake won Time Best Magazine. Direction. Oh yeah, it also it also won Time Magazine Game of the Year. By yes. the way, oh really? Yeah, and that oh, Alan cool. Wake won won in 2010. Mm. Yeah. So so like I think because it is like Baldur's Gate was like such a phenomenon and a lot of people are sleeping on Alan Wake like for real in terms of like but you know why because it's, Somebody... it's a digital only release which is very ugly well there's no physical you, lose... you can't get a physical copy of it you cannot get a physical copy oh. like someone like Amir was 
furious that he is has that, to download is that a common, digital copy. Is that common now? No, like, it's 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 not no, common. It's super uncommon. But uncommon. another thing they did is it, you could only get it on the Epic Store, right? You couldn't mm. get it on Steam. Oh, they like gated it a bunch too. of ways. They're like, oh, you can only. I well, see, you just yeah. they used it to to be like, go download this game on Epic, mm -hmm. which is like no one likes that. People, everyone, no one likes make Epic. your game on Steam. Also, never don't do that. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So so like. It won best direction and best it won narrative best also. narrative, and which best, is best art direction, which is like that's interesting. It totally deserves, yeah. and it can't like if it won those, it it can't also win game of the year. You got it really. It like, was not made for audio out. design. You got to give love uh, to, to Baldur's Gate. Wasn't best score in music. It was nominated, so it was Baldur's Gate. Did Baldur's but, Gate but only win the? this category or did it take it won like everything everything it won else. best multiplayer no, it, well it the, lost um, it lost best narrative to alan wake yeah it lost best game direction to alan wake um which makes sense you're like well then how does it win game of the year <laughs> yeah it uh it was um well it's like because it's so, like you can Depending on your choices, you could make the story as shitty or as good as you want, really, in Baldur's Gate. There's, there's while, so like, Alan answers. Wake is, like, very oh, clearly Oh, this was a big a one also. Yeah, they, it got best community support, and that's, like, a big one. That's, like, those are the kind of Ws that are important to me with a game company moving forward. Because I feel like gamers get fucked, dude. And it's all my I, I fault. It was weird. I was like, what What did they do community-wise? They are uh, the updates. They're updating like crazy all the time. They're oh, constantly okay. updating the game. Um, and I think like uh, like gamers get fucked. And it's my fault, D, because I bought the horse armor and a blue <laughs> <laughs> I did that, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I really did that. that. I encouraged this, this crazy world. Oh, I, like, I want to go back in time and be banging on the glass. And like, I can't hear you. Be like, don't. Oh, no, <laughs> like behind the bookshelf. Just <laughs> no. So I saw something interesting from Sony, and I was like, "This can't be real." Where there people, they were removing content that people had purchased. Did you guys see this? Yeah. What's up with bought, that? If you bought shows, like if you bought the series of a show, oh, digitally yeah. on Sony, uh, they're now like, "Yeah, you don't have this anymore." It's because they don't have the license anyway. for it anymore. But like, yeah. how can you sell it then? You're just renting it. You're not actually because it was it. like before the deal was struck and that those properties are owned under the umbrella of yeah that would make me so angry because it's uh, i would just be like okay like, oh i can't oh, watch terrible. season three of scrubs <laughs> <laughs> i assumed it, i assumed it included like, movies for some reason i was like i so all the things that i have movies on that i ever bought the thing that i consider that i have done is for some reason i've always like been pretty okay with uh, uh, an occasional google or an occasional microsoft Mm -hmm. uh, but I've never got something on Sony. It already rubbed me the wrong way. Yep. I was like, you don't on, like, like I was like, or some shit. Like, I was like, you don't. Yeah. I was like, you don't even like these shows. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're like, this isn't going to be around. Yeah, like when Sony did that, when they, when they unlicensed that, they were like, well, those are shit shows anyways. <laughs> yeah, like, that's all shit. But, uh, you're, 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 you're actually you're right, and this is a classic. Just like scrolling through the timeline and be like, oh, that sucks. Thinking it's it, impacting movies, but it really is just discovery content. So. I, yeah, you know, it'd be weird if you're buying uh, Cake Boss, uh, but I guess people did. Right, I'd still be, I'd still be pissed, did and they're mad. I'd still be mad if I did, but it's weird to be buying Cake Boss or uh, Deadliest Catch. Uh, yeah, it's than, like you deserve to be a little bit. Yeah, like well, I, it's I, also I'm kind of swaying the other way now on that one. It's also crazy because yeah. if you spend like four ninety nine on an episode of Cake Boss. That episode hits very differently now. Every minute you're like, you're this in. costs yeah. money. Yeah, yeah. So you're like, every <laughs> minute, like you need to. I remember uh, Microsoft gave an episode of South Park out once when they first had the media thing, and they gave that one episode where it's the anime episode of South Park. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so I remember like I had this always like on my hard drive throughout the life of my 360 and the amount mm -hmm. of times that I would just put it on because I was there. And I was you always, could. yeah, and I was like, I remembered owning it. And then on my Xbox now, I have, or or maybe on my Apple, I'm not sure. I have like two seasons of Nathan for you. Mm -hmm. Because I just, wherever I, where I was in life, I had to watch it and I was with people and they were vibing with it. And each time I was like, this is nothing now. Yeah. $4.99 and my yeah. eight friends are happy <laughs> to be laughing. Of right. course, I'm going to spend $4.99 again. And, for, and that's easy money. And there are times where it's come back and I've watched again. But yeah, if someone takes those two seasons of Nathan for you from me, you're pissed. Oh, I'm fucking yeah. writing a letter. Yeah. yeah. But the difference you. is with Microsoft and Sony, 
is you could write that letter to and they'd be uh, able to read it well because you can write it to <laughs> yeah you can write to an american company and they're like the customer is always right and you write to a japanese con company and they're like absolutely not yeah like they're like not even close how dare and, you and it was i remember when i was in japan it was actually like that there were top, uh, like i remember i wanted to get into the gym and they were i needed a uh they didn't wouldn't take my driver's license they wanted my passport and they also wanted me to take my shirt off in the lobby and spin around like in front of everyone before I go in. And I was like, this is crazy. I'm like, let me talk to your what? manager. And they were like, no. And I was like, are they here? And I was like, yeah. And they were like, yeah. And I was like, well, can I speak to them? And they were like, no. And I'm like, why not? And they're like, because she's busy. And I was like, okay. Took my shirt off. <laughs> Got my passport, took my shirt off, spun okay, around. Okay. They're uh, making, <laughs> they're basically there's that there's that also saying it's a Karen in Japan, it seems like. Based Damn. On yeah, they were just like, get the fuck out of here, bro. <laughs> yeah. And so that's Customer why when he messaged Sony. Right. Yeah, like Sony had the, uh, um, what was that? They had a couple flubs where like they gave away your password information that one time. Yeah, but then they gave, they're like, we're sorry about that. Here's this game that's already free on yeah, PlayStation. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like something yeah. like that. Yeah. Uh, they, they never, uh, I remember having a problem with a Sony the, CD player like, way back in the day. They're like, you can download that. <laughs> I remember I had this issue with the Sony CD player like like 97 and I remember my like my mom couldn't sort it out on the phone and I've never seen her take an L damn and she took that L there was just no two ways around it brand new CD player that fucked up they were just like yeah sometimes CD players break through where <laughs> yeah. and I, I just remember Microsoft <sighs> calling Microsoft and being like uh, yo my Xbox it was uh, it's like uh, making loud noises and they're like, okay, send it to us and we'll send you, you a new one back. And I was like, well, yeah, but the Xbox Elite is out now. And they were like, okay, uh, well, yeah, you could pay the difference of that and we'll just send you the new Xbox. I remember like giving them like $40 and getting the brand new Elite and calling up all my friends and being like, yo, tell them your Xbox is making too much noise, spend 40 bucks, they'll give you the new Xbox. Whoa. And like everyone just getting the upgrade. And that, that's why, like, uh, you know, I feel like they're not going to take away my episodes of Scrubs. <laughs> yeah. My fucking Sony yeah, will. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. If, they, if they do, you know, you know, they'll 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 make good on it. Oh. And back, by the way, real quick, uh, what, what, what was your relationship with Gambit in Marvel back in the day when you were kids? Did you think he was like the sickest guy? No, that'd be the wrong way. Um, I thought he was cool. Uh. I was really into Rogue, so I was like, man, fuck this guy. Yeah, I had it. that I had that vibe too, but there was also people really backed him back in those days. I, I did like him a lot because he was like, he had a cool, you know. Jacket, he, you give anyone cool. that jacket as yep, a kid, jacket, bro. That he's was got the like the black jacket. on his face. Yeah. And like, you could tell like Wolverine like liked him. Like yeah. Wolverine didn't really like too many people. He like, he roasted Wolverine. Like he'd roast Wolverine. Yeah, back. yeah. They, they'd like... He'd call him Cajun and shit, but you knew like if they're if Wolverine's gonna get a beer, like Gambit would be like on the top of the list of dudes he'd take with him. Yeah. So I was like, all right, he's he's I right. like he's pretty cool. Cause like who else you got? You got fucking Cyclops. Man, it's so funny. Nobody like, likes Cyclops back. He then. really did it. The cartoon did him so dirty because yeah. he on on paper, he, all those pouches looked cool as hell and his hair coming out the top also. And yeah. his cool power when you're a kid, you're like, shoot lasers from my eyes. It's like you're fucking nine years old. That's the coolest thing in your head. You're like, yeah, you yeah. fucking shoot lasers. But he just sucked because he was like, Wolverine, don't fuck my bitch. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you're like, oh, everyone's like, everyone's like, I want that to happen. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and then he's also kind of dweeby, you know, he's like, three eyes you know mm -hmm. uh and, and then like he's the leader so he's all like mm, I'm, there's nothing interesting teacher's about pet. me yeah yeah teacher's pet you know i they, there's this one frame in one x-men comic i forget what it is but there's all these sentinels coming to the uh x mansion and uh they're in the front and wolverine is like narrating this part in the comic and he's like oh yeah he's like the thing is like i don't really like scott summers but it's times like this where i I totally recognize why he's the leader of the X-Men. Oh, and it was sure. the next frame. He was like, get off my lawn. And then you turn the page and the whole page is bright red. Damn. And he's there with his glasses off, like a little speck in the corner, like a full blast optic blast across the lawn. And it's like obliterating 
like 20 huge sentinels and it's just a bright so red sick. page and wolverine's just like yeah like that's it and like really you think about like you know you're like oh wolverine versus cyclops like who would win like wolverine doesn't really get to touch cyclops because no. when he's full blast he just has to look at him and you're not wolverine's not strong enough to push through this no he's it's not. like one of those stalemate scenarios you know yeah and then like i as a kid didn't respect cyclops i thought he was like super lame i was like wolverine wolverine but like an actual intellectual, like a grown man, see Cyclops and he's like, he had a hard job. He's got a hard job, <laughs> and uh, this motherfucker's a real one. Like this right. guy, this guy's keeping it together, and he's the one. Like, and everyone yeah. knows he's like a tactical genius. That's the uh, they that's never the show that part. The tactical genius when you get to the comics, yeah. the strategist aspects where mm -hmm. like they'll come in and uh storm and this is what I like about X-Men and this is what I need from the X-Men movies and this is what's always different from Avengers was I grew up playing football and in football yeah. you have plays and plays were a big deal, you know, you're going to mm -hmm. like the quarterback's going to fake giving it to the fullback up the middle and run out to the side it's a play action yep. he's gonna pass the ball that's a whole play that's been set up with people's different skills to do different things and like the x-men going into a scenario and storm putting fog so no yep. one can see she and then it out. and yeah, then yeah. jean gray using her telepathic so people can see everyone through and then cyclops like picking them off through this like the fog like that's the type of shit that the x-men did that I was, I want in the movies. Like I yeah. want them to have like, but there was like, they, they had plays like fastball special where like Colossus would throw would Wolverine. Wolverine. Yeah. And, and I like that stuff. That's the things that'll be important to me when they they have the these X-Men movies. You know, I'm, right? I'm really excited for them. I hope, I, they gotta be good. I mean, they gotta be. Cause like the, after Avengers, you, you gotta have some live up to it. Also, like you're saying, like the Avengers is like, you know, you got Iron Man and Thor, like they can fucking do everything. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not that interesting because they can fucking do everything. Yeah. But the X-Men were so specialized and, like, yeah. it, it was just so badass. And you have Rogue in there, like, fucking, like, seducing some guy and then fucking knocking him out and then, like, getting the fucking keys and, like, putting it in, like, typing in the code. Uh, and, you know, and another great shit. Something that I liked about the X-Men comics that I don't want in the movie, be, because it's great in the comics, but it, it's there's been a lot of it in in TV and movies already, and I don't want it to to go this way. But in the X Men comics, I always love this type of stuff, uh, but I don't want it in the movies now. Uh, but because like when I used to read comics, I used to fancy myself an intellectual, and I'd be like, Avengers are just like ah, the aliens are invading. We got to punch him and not let him collect the five stones. Yeah. Whereas X Men were like, yeah, my name's Bobby Drake. I control ice. The only problem is I'm gay. I don't know how my parents are going to feel about that. <laughs> yeah, and that yeah. was cool to read in the comics because it's like 2005 and I'm like, I'm like 20. And I think I know everything. And yeah. I'm like, bro, you, you think that's not important, dude. Do you know what it would be like being an X-Men and being gay? Mm. Imagine being a mutant and, you know, uh, dealing with racism. And that was what made X-Men interesting back then. But we get that everywhere now. I'm yeah. like, nah, bro, I just want fucking Colossus to chuck Wolverine, a fucking <laughs> saber tooth. Let's not yeah, get too yeah. crazy. I want to see. They're definitely cool going <laughs> to touch on that, like the racism thing and like the whole like mutant kind thing. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it, it, that's an important part of the show. It's kind of what but makes X-Men like always hits, be X-Men, you know? Yeah, I think it like hits a little too close to home what's going on. Mm -hmm. And I do hope they go like more to the fun aspect of it and like what makes them really cool and like badass uh i, I don't know dude I if no you imagine if x-men were real X -Men's there would like. be there would be people on twitter being like i don't know like i don't know why professor x doesn't just mind control israel and palestine to be at peace yeah people would be and mad no, at him not, they'd be like not, why are they at war why doesn't professor x just use cerebro and just make everyone stop having war yeah be mad at him you know and it's funny because he be could al he there. could always yeah you know, he'd get canceled for that he could always do something like that but like like that's not right that's not right it's like that's not like right he can't get the prime directive like that. yeah that. exactly yeah, exactly yeah, yeah. you gotta you gotta but great power man yeah, yeah. that's that's <laughs> that's wild dude that new X Men better be fucking better good. Be, I'm, I'm be wrong. so yeah. mad if it's bad but uh, D big thanks for coming in uh, onto the podcast uh, YouTube.com yeah. slash Nexus Cards. YouTube.com yeah, slash Cerberus Arms. 
Twitch.tv. Do you do, do, do Twitch? No, no I don't way. do Twitch. No, no. I'm I'm a I'm not a live boy. I don't get the heart for that. Yes, but you got uh, but uh, Node also. Where where should, where's everyone checking you out? What, what about yeah, that yeah. Uh, you know, you post it on Instagram. So I post. Uh, yeah, occasionally, not as much as I should. Um, but mostly, uh, you know, if you like gaming stuff, Node. Uh, and if you want to see some swords, uh, Cerberus arms, just type in Katana. You'll see my fucking face and a thumbnail. Just <laughs> click on that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that's it, really. Uh, I got we got to have you on some more uh, gaming videos, man. Those yeah, uh, lethal company vids were super fun. Yeah, yeah, I got a couple of vids on uh, on D's channel. If you guys need a gateway drug, yeah, if you want to check uh, out getting, early into getting uh, screaming into cracked skills. <laughs> uh, but thanks a lot, brother. I appreciate it. Big lift, yeah, of course, man. down as usual. And guys, uh, happy holiday. Oh, we got a shirt. Shop mealtime.com. Is that the link, Lynch? To yep. get to it, <clears throat> it'll the, be a link uh, in the description. Yeah, to get our limited edition holiday uh, shirt. So don't don't sleep on it because once it's gone, it's never gonna come back again. Okay, all right, dudes. Peace.